Hello Pisces and welcome to your April 2022 forecast. My name is Lisa from It's Practical Magic. I am an intuitive reader of runes, tarot, and oracle cards. And today I'm going to be using um, the oracle cards for your read. It's so, so wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining me. Um, we're going to be taking a look, of course, for the upcoming month of April 2022 for you here, Pisces, and taking a look at seeing what to expect heading into the beginning, middle, and end of that month for you. I also feel very drawn to be adding some tea leaf messages to those three sections of your read. And we're going to be doing a little add-on um, after the read here. So if you have a question um, in regards to your read, or if you just have something that you need an immediate answer to right now, this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for you to get some answer and guidance from the crystal ball deck as we do that towards the end of the read here so stay tuned for that and if by chance you are interested in having a free read i am always live tuesdays thursdays and sundays on twitch all you need to do is just stop by and join the queue and i would absolutely love to read for you um, all my links are provided here for you as well of course all right pisces i'm gonna do one more shuffle here and then there's a lot of like it feels very light I like the energy nice uh we'll do one more shuffle and then we'll get started with your read here for you ah i spoke too soon <laughs> all right let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on very curious uh, we'll also get the uh tea leaves here for you pisces hmm interesting i like the energy though i feel like there's a lot of playfulness going on for you hmm. very nice what do we have for pisces please for April 2022. What do we have for Pisces, please? Let me get some of that. Some answers and clarification for Pisces, please, for April 2022. What do we have for some messages being channeled? All right, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> the cards are definitely ready to play. Let me just get organized here a little bit and we will see. Oh, we have an extra one. Interesting. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. But yeah, let's see what's going on here for you, my dear. And uh, what you can expect for this upcoming month of April 2022 for you, of course. Beginning of the month, we have trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Animal guardian. So I feel like you're going to be faced with an opportunity to take some sort of different route when it comes to your job. This is very much a job, school, you know, that type of path, I feel that is very present for you right now. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know if you tried working um, in connection with another um, person or having an investment, but I definitely feel this is coming together for you. And it's very, very focused on that success in career, that connection, uh, or like I said, schooling, if you're not, you know, working or something right now, or if you haven't been working, if you've been out of work, there's going to be a really, really nice opportunity presenting itself to you. Um, and I feel like, you know, sometimes we have these opportunities and we're like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, it's nice. Thank you very much. But I don't know if that's really the right fit for me, right? Um, it's not going to be applying in this case for you. This is all feeling very, just, just right. It all feels right. <laughs> like literally all these things are coming together. Um, and like I said, I feel like there's actually been kind of like a plan that was placed a while ago in regards to this. So either that connection was made or opportunity was kind of like the connection with the opportunity you had, had started, you know, a while ago. Um, but now it's like very forward. It's very now in this present current energy. So you're being encouraged to before you like actually go forward or do something to take your time and allow your intuition to guide you. Okay. You do not need to make the decision on the spot. If you are presented with one, you don't have to say yes or no, or maybe or whatever. Just be like, you know what? I need 24 hours. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I need 24 hours. I'll get back to you. I honestly also feel that's all you're going to need because again, it's something that you already wanted, something you've been anticipating and hoping to have, you know, pop up in your life. Um, so I don't feel like it's going to need like, you know, a week's uh, vacation to make a decision on or something. It's you, 24 hours, but know that it's okay to say like, you know, I just need to, I just need to have this settle. I need to ponder over this a little bit. Um, I honestly feel like in that moment, you already know your answer, um, but you are being guided and directed to to step back a little bit okay 
So here we have the middle of the month move beyond ancestral pattern. So I definitely feel this experience. It's still the connection, it's still the connection. Here. It's a little like, like kind of like flowing here. Um, the connection of um, you, you have had this idea, you have set it in motion, even maybe not being aware of it. Um, and it's encouraging you to actually embrace it again. So it's again, the message of, yes, you want to go forward with this, follow your intuition, take the 24 hours, take however much time you need to kind of like ponder or reply or whatever. Um, but I have to say, this is something very new. This is kind of like, and I'm not surprised with the spiritual presence of the animal guardians. Um, but it's not something that would be so called the norm, right? So like, it might be something when you express it to your family, they'd be like, ah, uh, are you sure you want to do this? like it's, uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know about that you know um you are breaking a pattern you're breaking a cycle but you are getting back connected to your pattern to your cycle of your life okay so it's good keep going forward with that um here we have great teacher learn from spiritual experiences like this is a very very in tune deeply connected uh read to your energy i have to say um out of all the ones i've done the spiritual connection to your sign for this read is really quite intense you have again the animal guardians elders and the teacher energy present so know that by breaking this grid by reconnecting and creating your own unique grid <laughs> you know that you are in a sense setting yourself free and perhaps you know um generation after generation after generation your ancestors did not have the opportunity your elders did not have the opportunity to break this grid themselves they tried they perhaps moved to different countries they perhaps tried to learn new languages get accustomed to all that but you know maybe in that lifespan they just didn't have time or the pressures or whatever it, it didn't work it didn't work you are breaking this now you are like the lifeline of all your ancestors no pressure or anything. <laughs> no, just joking. Like it's actually a very, very natural and a very peaceful um, process and journey for you, as we can see with this, this is kind of like dove image here. Okay, let's see what the tea leaves have to say. Younger man, dealings with a relationship with a younger man. So I feel like, um, you know, when I see this image, it's not like a happy looking person. <laughs> you know, it's someone who looks quite um distraught someone who looks quite angry someone who's like oh i can't believe you're trying that i feel like the connection of again someone saying what was being channeled here in in your uh, message with this card you know someone along the lines of your family perhaps perhaps a younger man is gonna be like i don't know like really are you sure you want to do this like it's a little it's a little risky and it's like you know what you need to stand up and again, stay true to you for this younger man be quiet <laughs> <laughs> money path a, a path with money is waiting for you to find it so i mean younger man you know you just think or do or say what you need to say we won't worry about you because we are on this new path right we're moving on past the ancestral patterns we're getting back to that pattern that grid of your true life your, your your essence really and i mean look what's waiting for you it's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow so whatever it is you're pursuing don't stop stick to it stick to it pisces um and this one is saying scissors disappointment in uh disappointment in some affair so i feel like you know how these look at how the scissors are pointing towards this card really i feel like you are disappointed that you aren't re receiving like support from either a specific individual perhaps that energy or um some of your other family members or friends you know you kind of would wish and hope that they would be as supportive and encouraging as you would be towards them sadly they're not but again you know those things are placed along our path for a reason in life um make sure again this just keeps coming up for you here stay true to your essence stay true to you you know create your own unique grid it's time, it's time, it's time. It's not just for you. It, it's it's continuing, um, you know, what your ancestors could not ap perhaps achieve, you know? So breaking away from um, not wrapping up a cycle, not completing things, all right? So um, let's see what this is all about. This is the extra card that jumped out there. Hard work ahead. Well, I mean, I don't think this is surprising. <laughs> Pisces, when is there never hard work involved for you, right? Um, but again, I feel like 
there is that hard work, but then also look at this very nice and peaceful energy that's that's allowing you just to kind of like have in your life as well. So, you know, I, I feel like that's a message for pretty much anything when it comes to life and experiences, um, anything that does require hard work, de dedication, persistence, you know, it, it is tolling. It, it takes, a, uh, takes a lot of energy and patience and like what I just named pretty much. Um, but stick to it, stick to it because that hard work will pay off. It will pay off indeed. So let's now see what the crystal ball has to say for you. You know what? I have to say Pisces. This is like for the month of April. Holy cow. You know, it's like, <laughs> like, I feel like it's such an intense read. Um, I'm, I'm already like very, very curious to see what uh, May has in store for you, but it's like, yeah, it, there's, there's a lot going on. It's going to be quite the month. It's a lot of nice changes though. And I feel like changes that are long overdue. Okay, let's see what we have for Pisces, please, with that answer. Can we get an answer for Pisces, please? What do we have for an answer? Ooh, let's take a look at this. So this is saying, choose a new direction. There you go. Choose a new direction. I mean, you know, we can't make this stuff up. I'm... <laughs> We have fun saying this in, in my community, but it, it literally is so in this, in this case, in this situation, because I mean, you were so encouraged to choose that new direction, to break that, that path, you know, to get back to your own. It is time. It is time. All right. So Pisces, thank you so, so much for joining me. As always, it's such a pleasure to read for your sign. Again, with this being a general read to take what resonates and leave what does not. I look forward to seeing you in May. Until then, take good care.